Hi guys, I'm doing a quick video showing you how to get the um, sub-touch navigation bar at the bottom of your Samsung Galaxy S4. This is a i9502, which is a Chinese version of Galaxy S4 and it has dual SIM. But I believe it should work fine for any other Galaxy S4 or even Galaxy devices or Samsung devices in general. So let's get started. The first thing you want to make sure is your phone is rooted. This is like the prerequisite for everything else. And also you want to make sure you install the exposed installer. You can simply go to do a quick Google search. Expose installer. and click the first link and slide down you'll see the download link and you can simply download it but since I've already got mine installed I'm just skip this okay so after you got the exposed installer you need to install it and reboot your device one, once for two function and after that, you can just go into the Exposed Installer, go to Download, do a quick search, you can type in Gravity. Oops. Okay, so you want to download the Gravity Box. Mine is 4.4.2, so it's a KitKat version. This KK stands for. And if you are on a Jelly Bean, there's also a gravity box for Jelly Bean. This is the only Samsung device I have, so I have no idea whether it would work on any other devices or on a different Android firmware work version, but you can always try it out. It does no harm. Okay, so once you get the gravity box downloaded and enabled, you can go into it. And there the category of navigation bar tweaks. Make sure you in turn on the master twit not master switch, I'm sorry. And you enable navigation bar and yeah, that's it. After this you need to reboot your device once again for it to function. And also if you there's like a mini launcher here, which is quite a neat feature. You can get some of your like daily or most used applications there and if you go to the application launcher here you can see there are 12 slots for you to choose from um, let's change the calculator for another one go to um, gallery maybe okay so this time yeah it just uh, disappears and you got the gallery so yeah, that's basically it. And another thing to notice is there's a little bit laggy at the home button. I don't know. I think it's a general Samsung problem. It's nothing about this navigation bar. It's like if you go to the application launcher and you click, I'm oh, sorry, click the home button. Yeah, there's a little bit laggy there. I'm gonna do a quick comparison with my other phone and you'll see the difference. So they're now both in the launcher and if I yeah you can see the difference there. Even though I click the original home button. Yeah there's still the difference. You can it's not quite a serious thing, but it's still noticeable. So just be aware, be aware of that. Okay. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.